So if your emotions are always leading the way, if you're always engaged emotionally when you confront people, you can't really analyze who they are. And if suddenly you're confronted with a charmer or a flatterer or a manipulator, and there are many of them out there, you're just going to be taken in because you're going to be reacting to their charm offensive or whatever. And then when they hurt you, you're just going to be reacting personally and you cannot learn. So it's kind of a game out there. It's like you're playing chess, right? And if you play a game of chess and somebody does a really brilliant move on you, you don't get angry and throw the board off and swear at them and and throw things at them. You go, that's a great move. Okay, right? So you're a strategist in life. You have a little bit of distance and that distance is extremely, extremely important. So with that level of detachment, you now tell yourself a very elemental law of human nature. People hide who they are. They don't come out and wear their hearts on their sleeve. Some people do, but even they are hiding something else. Like, why are they out there emoting so much? There's something else going on. So what you need to train yourself to do in these situations is appearances are deceptive. The way people present themselves isn't necessarily the reality. In fact, pretty much it isn't the reality. There's something else going on, right? So with that level of detachment and with that first instinct that appearances are deceptive, you've already won half the game. 